They say you shouldn't buy someone's half-finished project car. That's exactly what Edwin's done. Let's see just how bad it is. So we saw this a few weeks ago when we took the Casidos to the track. For some reason, unbeknown to everyone on the planet, Edwin bought this thing. It made sense, it was on the way, I wanted to go look at it. The shot that you saw in the video was us looking around at it and me shaking the guy's hand. And then I got it transported here. I wasn't even here when it was delivered. So I have not looked around this car. This okay. is, you're seeing this for the first time with me. So we need to find out how far the last owner took it. Now this was a project car of his, it was a drift car. Well, I want to start on the wheels. So we got <coughs> 320s or 318s off an E46. Stud, 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 stud. Bolt. I was going to say, oh, it's good he's done a stud conversion. Would you have done that anyway? Yes. But would you have put all five in? I would have gone for five. Yeah, I so like I the idea of a five. Why is it so tilty? He has put 60 mil wider control arms oh, and sick. knuckles on it. So sick. it's like proper drift car spec. Yeah. So those will be going in the bin. There is a bumper. It's a quick release, I think they call it. If you just want to wash your bumper, maybe you want to take it off and... Yeah, bring it in at night because you don't want someone to nick it. Also, one fog light, no fog light. But private plate though, that's cool. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's also missing the actual bolts and has a broken stud, I'm seeing there. So that's great. Can we ask how much you pay for it? You could, but it would be in bad taste. Okay. Uh, I paid £1,500 for this car. Okay. There's only one reason I bought this car. Is it it's, solid gold? It's a solid car. It's a semi-solid car. <laughs> it might be a solid car. We've got the preface, okay. We've got those. <laughs> That's going in the bin anyway, I want a facelift. There's a little patch of something there. Have you noticed that? I hadn't, if I'm honest. <laughs> I hadn't. Would you like to see the, the oh, Yeah, I want to see the goods. Sorry, for me to unlock it. Let me just get out my alarm fob. Oh, I need to make a call, do you mind? Hello, can I get in my car? That's Thanks. Good. Hello, scrapyard. <laughs> so, yeah, right. go, hold, hold the unlock button. 91. That's... Don't know what that means. Who's that? There we go. <gasps> free, free tool. Uh, also, while, while we're there, we've also got... Jesus Christ. We've, we've also got free bolts. Oh, I mm. had a free Jubilee clip. Jeez. Man, I, I said someone's half-finished project car, but they're, they're literally in the middle of finishing it. Their um, tools are still a, in the engine bay. That's a good tool, to be fair. <gasps> More tools! <laughs> He's got his left his extension in We're it. winning. We're absolutely what winning. What is this? <laughs> Have we got any more? Can't Keep see any more. looking. There might be a whole thing. There might be some more. Yeah. There might be a little game in yeah, there. There's a bloody like, impact guns in here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is originally a 316. Because it's E36, you can swap anything in there. So it's a two and a half out of a three, two, three. I believe it is. These are nice, the speed holes that have been drilled in the, in the chassis. What? I assume there was a, probably an alarm there once. I think maybe this was causing a problem. So you just took the speaker out. Yeah, I'm getting the impression this car's gone for a few alarms. <laughs> I'm its 11th owner. Are you? Yeah, I need a little bit of confidence, please. Because <laughs> oh. I'm starting to get a little, I'm starting I'll to get be, a little I'll bit Goodbye, man, nice. goodbye. Yes. So we've got coilovers, much like the stud kit I've just noticed. Uh, we've got three studs, we've got two studs. That's fine, because I'm, I'm putting coils on it anyway. Things happen. In the heat of passion. Oh, there is one thing about starting it. There's no exhaust. No exhaust. There's no exhaust. It's got no exhaust. No exhaust. But it sounds all right. Turn it off. So it starts. Trouble is, as soon as it starts, you want it to stop. <laughs> starts all right, runs all right. That's not staying in there anyway, is it? Nope. Eventually. I want a 2.8 with ITBs. ITBs. Intake to blow. Very good. Along the side, just kind of your meeting too. This is all standard. Tow uh, bar. Um, tow bar, but I'm more importantly, bar. do you want to look at what's just left of the tow bar? Yeah. Oh, why is that there? Uh, that was one of the things he did tell me about. He did say uh, it needed to be welded on. This is a proper drift car special. That's amazing. Oh, there's a big hole there. Yeah, there is Ooh. a bit. It's a semi-solid car. He did say there was a boot full of spares, which oh. I think to him was a selling point. To me was not so much. There could be more tools in there. <gasps> wow, okay. loads of things. Look at these. Is that a trumpet? <gasps> it's Dixieland. That's the General Lee. <laughs> Is that a woofer? Oh, Jesus Christ, it is a woofer. Okay, so let's take stock. We've got an exhaust. We've got, We've got a that. general Lee. Oh, these are Hecko wind, wind deflectors. Oh, that's kind, of, that's kind of cool. Are they? Oh, pedal. This was an automatic. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. Bucket seat reels. An airbox. If you want, no. Uh, We've got another one. Nice. That's for the rear. Oh, I actually, I really like this one. Don't. All wind deflectors are bad. We've got some tools. <laughs> That's a paintbrush. That's a troubling a sign. A I don't that, like that there's that's, a paintbrush that, that's there. That's white as well. Maybe this made the holes in your boot. Oh, and then this tried to fill it back in. <laughs> that's for shaving, isn't it? That's what? like, what am I, the 1920s? What's going on here? Extra fuse panel. I quite like this game. Is that the original one that broke? Oh, it is. Oh, oh that's sad. That's not a good sign. What, a dumbbell? Ethan? <laughs> Some sort of axle. 
Okay, I'll, I'll accept it. Oh, cool. Mm, that's mm, melted. That's not, yeah, that's not. This will definitely get resprayed. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't like that here. I think that's part of the heat matrix. Yeah, that should be in there. <laughs> that should. That's not good. Oh, I found the other bit of that rear. Yes. Yeah, you go. Good job. Cute. Look, watch. Nice. Just an early shoot on the should you buy someone else's project card. Just want to gauge where Just you're at. Just to gauge with interest. That. Yeah. I think I think it could be done. Still? Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> I gotta look at the inside of this thing next. Now this is the good part. Is it? Wow. <laughs> if you said amazing. this is where it gets worse, I'd run away. <laughs> well, in some ways. Okay, all right, let's have a look. Right, Ethan has gone to the back to sit in the back, but there's a door card and uh, part of the center console in there. So. Oh, okay. So this is a really, really early E36, it's a 91. I think these are Lotus white seats, which is an earlier BMW thing. It's like oh, E30s, E28. It wasn't an option that you could tick later on E36s. I ran the VIN, it just has blank next to the interior, which usually means it was an individual or like a, something special. But imagine this, right? White E36 saloon. Yeah. White Compomotive BTCC style wheels, a white leather steering wheel, and white Recaro seats. <gasps> And white leather gloves. Ooh, hello. Do you know what? I'm and get, no underwear. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed something, because I've got a keen eye for this. Mm -hmm. um, You're experience. You are our man on the inside. You know what I'm gonna say, don't you? Yeah. Are you gonna help me with that? No, I wouldn't no? have thought you, so. you wouldn't think? No. Oh. Okay. I think it's just gonna be an OEM black fabric, not an Alcantara. What about like a Rolls Royce kind of twinkly lights oh, in there? Oh, very nice. But it's just the lights through the uh, through the rust holes that are uh, <laughs> peeking out. I don't know what that thing laying down there is. Is that the third brake light, maybe? Yeah, no, you don't have any brake lights. No, no, you don't have any brake yeah, lights. No, you don't have any brake lights. How about indicators? Right, right, or oh. left, left. Woo! Give us a little reverse. No. Can I ask a sort of like philosophical question? Yeah, sure. When does something become a restoration project? Now. <laughs> This is the thing that's most scary about project cars. Yep. Wiring. I'd call it 80% of an interior here. A big day will put a dent a in this. Day. A big day. A big day. I, I'm I'll talking like a, like a week long day. A, a good scrapper would put a dent in this. <laughs> oh, then, wow. That's actual history. It's missing the last seven years. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just show you this as well? Look at this. I understand the door going, but your whole glove yeah, box. Yeah, but they just... do do that. Hold on, Jack, there's more to be found under these seats. Yeah, is it an MOT? No. <laughs> the best thing about this whole situation, we can get to buy a lot of cars and lots of our ropey, but this might be the ropiest one we've seen in ages, and it's Edwin's personal car. <laughs> yeah, this is really funny, isn't it? <laughs> this is the type of car, if we bought it for work, we'd go, oh, God, I'm so glad I didn't buy this. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm so glad I know this, but no, I can't say it this time. I do have one thing I want to do to try and make myself feel a little bit better. Set this thing on fire. Leather cleaner. Ooh. Oh, it's going to be good. Ooh. Oh, my okay. word. Okay, oh. then. Okay. That is excellent. Yeah. Look at that. Now this can go to the workshop. Now we can start. Oh, first. What car's getting scrapped next week? Test Pig, our compact E36. Oh, yeah. Basically, the Test Pig the E36 is the most rotten 36 you've ever seen. It has to go to scrap. Wow. It also needs a clutch, and also the engine is completely... It's unhappy. Yeah. So that car's going to the big scrapyard in the sky. I think we should drop by and maybe nab a couple of parts, like nab its facelift. It can live on it through this. It can live on in this car. Yeah, yeah and it'll yeah. Get, yeah, get, have another eight months of life before this Ooh, one that's eventually strong, goes. That's strong, that's strong. I'd say, <laughs> let's, let's call it six and see where it goes. <laughs> okay. Right, let's, let's go and grab some parts. Let's okay. go butcher a car. I'm gonna take the face off this. I'm gonna take the indicators, the lights, the front grill and the grill surround. So its face will be painted and live on in my car. Let's get stripping and then let's take the car off the part. This is a bit sad, isn't yeah, it? We're is just like picking at a carcass. Just a bunch of vultures. <laughs> it will live on, uh, probably, most likely. Well, so we think something has perished in this engine bay because there is a stench. Other than the engine, something else has perished. <laughs> I'm ever so curious how I'm going to get something in there. Oh, no! Ah, 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 ah. There, look, there is a hole for me right there. Jack, go and get the steering wheel off. You're fing kidding, aren't you? Have you no. seen that thing? It's covered in the you, cheese. You brought some gloves, haven't you? No. There we go. A present. Thank you very much. This is going to go nicely. Would you like the other one? Uh, I, that would be quite nice if yeah. I could have both. Yeah, yeah. you need two. Right, you just can go like that. Ah, very good, Ethan. This thing's really getting stripped down. That, is that not better? It's going to go and live on in a cool car. Cool. 
says the man with the 36 and his guarantee hasn't moved in five years. Don't play that game. It's my MX5's fault, actually, to be honest. What, because you've been working on that? And then that, yeah, and that pit. <laughs> oh, piece. what a catty I, human. I'm sorry, I... When was the last time you touched that, Pete? About two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> For memories. Even though they weren't so great. Why don't you start doing the wheels? Okay, then answer me, how would it roll back to where it's got to be? We put the other wheels on. Very smart, very good. Okay, I was just <laughs> testing you. <laughs> I'll admit, you've got me there. Yeah, you've got me there. For, I keep forgetting those wheels exist. <laughs> How are you going to get all this in your M3? The wheels might not, but then the, the Jag can have them if you want to. I could put 32s on You could put 32s, you could use them as drift bears. I might throw them on that. What well, what tyres are on them? This is it, this is the classic Jack yeah. move. I would like to do this. Okay, do it. Oh, I've had a second thought about it now, <laughs> actually, I don't want to do it. Name one to other time I've ever done that. Okay, your E36, your MX5, your Range Rover. Yeah, I f <laughs> own them all, I got them all, it's all ongoing. We said we would do something to them, and then you're like, yeah, and then the moment we start to plan it, you're like, Actually, I don't want to do it. Well, no one wants to see 36s. One times front bumper. When you drove the silver one, you like that one quite a lot, don't you? You won't give it to me, which is actually pretty shitty of you. I, w I said I will, I just won't sell it to you because I want to still own it. I don't want to sell it. You can use it as long as you want. How about I take it on the weekends? Okay, um, <laughs> as long as you go to its football practice. <laughs> Snail, alive and well, in the, in the bolt hole. In your bolt hole, right where you don't want him. When the is Red it... Bull F1 team have to stop for their pit stop. Yeah, this doesn't happen out. in F1, does it? You have to stop because there's a bloody snail, oh, snail oh, in your oh, wheel. It's full of centipedes and shit. Observation, yeah. do you know this? He only helped on the, on bits, the bits that, that he, he was going to take. Yeah. I was here for everyone's sake. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, Incorrect. true, yeah, Incorrect. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've just helped both of you yeah, and I no, get nothing. You, get nothing. <laughs> you, can, you can drive it. Good I, work. as a little present, could have, you could, Drive the the, the silver, silver saloon. One. I could have You that. could drive it. You can't own it, but you can drive it permanently. Drive it permanently until I'm no longer permanently. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's the last you'll see of Test Pig. Oh, don't yeah. say it like that. But the parts will go on. We've got a nice little pile over there that will go on to live in other cars. Yeah. Your car will I'll get the wheels. I'll take some bits. Yeah. Some your bumper. I've got the face off it. Let's get my car down to this new garage see if we can get it to go through an MOT. So originally we were going to have this car back on the road in one episode, but to be honest, there was just so much work, we're going to spread it over to, yeah. I think it makes most sense. You'll see the rest of it next yeah, week. Yeah, well done Edwin, this is all your fault. I do it for the viewers. Snap, start missing a bolt and another one there, and another one there. This was just completely loose in here. And the whole thing just died. Why is that on? The key's not in the ignition. All of this is completely unnecessary to do as well. You don't need a facelift front end for an MOT. Is that what you spent all weekend doing? doing? What a colossal waste of time. If you want to see if this car makes it back on the road, then make sure you catch up with us next week. And then also after that, we're back on the Porsche. Yeah. So if you want to see more, subscribe here. And you can watch more videos down here. All right, let's get this thing to MOT. No, what a horrible car. No, it's good.